giving you the chance to be of great use in our quest for preservation. Okay, so let's talk about Cuckoo from Tillman Singer starring Hunter Schaefer and Dan Stevens. This was one of our most anticipated films going into South by Southwest. I mean, this is one of those films that when we first saw Neon announce it, show off that picture that we always saw for a while now. And just immediately I was like, that is the movie we need right now. And then Neon completely went dark with it. We didn't hear anything, no announcements. They said it was going to come out in 2023. We were waiting. Some people thought it was going to be like a New Year's Eve special. Nothing. Then they announced it would be coming to Berlin now back in February and then it would be coming to South by Southwest just last week and we got the chance to see it. This was one of those films that we were just like this is a for sure we're going to watch. I think we pretty much watched every film we wanted to watch at South by Southwest except a couple of them but we made sure we were watching Neon and we definitely got something to talk about this movie because we got something to talk about this movie. So first and foremost, this movie really works so well because of Hunter Schaefer. So let's get into what this movie basically is about. And I won't give any spoilers or anything of that because I think this is a movie going into it dark is the best way possible. If you've seen the trailer, you sort of get the vibes. You basically have Hunter's character moving out to another country with her father and her stepmother as well as her stepsister. And they are trying to form this new life in this like ski resort of sorts. And there's like something that is preying on this family, specifically Gretchen, who is played by Hunter Schaefer. And that's basic premise right there. I won't get any more into it. If you haven't seen the trailer, I would say don't watch the trailer. Just go into this not knowing anything. That might give you the best viewing experience because let me tell you, this movie goes into territory I did not expect it to. So first and foremost, Hunter Schaefer is incredible in this. I think they do an amazing job in their performance because this is a movie that sort of is blending genre. And I feel like that was something... I wasn't sure this movie was going to do because I just thought it was going to be a straight up horror from the beginning but there's some comedic elements in it and it really works so well especially with the delivery of the lines and specifically Gretchen who is played by Hunter Schaefer has some amazing delivery in this with their lines and it is just something to see on the big screen with a crowd because there are moments when the movie is trying to be serious and then it throws a curveball and just the way that the line delivery the facial expressions and everything from the actors is done just makes it that much more outrageous and funny and I really enjoyed those moments in the movie like I said I did not expect the comedic moments and when they came to me they were a big surprise so I really enjoyed seeing that um, happen right there the story in itself I feel also is interesting the lore that they're trying to build and all of that I do want to say that it does sort of feel thin especially towards the end because you think that we're about to dive into something deeper and deeper and it doesn't really go all the way there but I think it's just enough in order to have you continue on with the movie but you're going to be left thinking after it like I guess that didn't make much sense of what exactly they were trying to do and that was sort of things that I took points off from the movie myself because I feel like they had time during certain moments but it sort of became a redundancy to do certain scenes and there's a specific sequence that they do a lot throughout the movie and I feel like we didn't need to see that over and over and over again it just felt like it was just being in there to fill things and I understand why they did it specifically because they built something just for that scene and I won't talk about it here because I don't want to get spoiled spoilers but I understand why they would want to reshow that scene again and again in terms of the antagonist and everything here I think it is very unique it is something that I don't think I've ever seen I don't think you've probably seen before the whole premise of it as well is very out there and something that could only be thought of by somebody like Tillman Singer apparently that's what they said during the Q&A which I will be uploading or have already uploaded by the time you're watching this so if you want to go check it out go check it out it should be up on the page but I Dan Stevens in here is just cuckoo crazy, honestly. I have not seen Dan Stevens in a role like this, I think, ever. And I really love to see sort of when actors are pulled out of their element. And Dan Stevens is usually an actor who plays like a cool, suave type dude. So to see him here just being off the wall and just like batshit crazy was awesome. So I'm excited to see what... Uh, Dan Stevens will be up to next and like I said this is a movie that is blending genre you have this very horrific element to it but you have this um, and I'm not just saying it because of the movie but a cuckoo bizarre type underlining to it that when it pops off throughout the movie it really makes you like um, 
love it a little bit more i want to say because it is a film that isn't trying to take itself seriously but the stakes are very high as well for all of our characters so at the same time you're laughing but you're like wait i hope they get out of that however i think some of the elements of the special effects and all of that were very interesting and very unique as well to the film and that's always awesome to see these uh, special effects that elevate the film to another level and that's exactly what we get from cuckoo and I think that this is going to be one of those midnight cult classic films because I think it is best enjoyed with a crowd that just knows what they're going to get. And it's going to have some scenes that I think everybody's going to find memorable as well just because of the way they were set out. So silly, so weird, out there, bizarre, scary. All of those things could uh, be put into Cuckoo and they would make sense when you're describing the film. And I think that this is definitely a midnight cult classic in the making. Overall... What do I think about Cuckoo? I think it was fun. I think Hunter is definitely leading the charge here when it comes to everybody else. I think that they are above everybody else when it comes to really selling and carrying this movie. I did find some of the plot points and some of the parts in it a little bit too tedious just because we kept doing a redundant thing over and over and it wasn't as scary as I was expecting it either. I really was expecting something a bit more tense and a bit much more um, dark, especially considering the first image. But other than that, we got a movie. I don't think we got a very scary film per se. And I think if you're going into this expecting something horrifying and scary, you might be a bit let down as I feel like it pulls its punches a lot and could have gone a lot darker, a lot deeper with things. Overall, however, it was fun with a crowd. I think that Hunter is amazing in it, and I really would love to see more of Hunter in horror films. So I hope that this is them breaking into the horror genre, into the horror genre a bit more. But like I said, it's fun, it's bizarre, it's not as scary as I was expecting. I feel like the story was pretty light and almost uh, rushing at the end. So I would give it a three point five out of five still enjoyable if you wanted to see this i would still go see it i think that it is worth seeing for sure we'll talk more about the spoilers and all of that because i want to talk about the story in particular what points i really just didn't vibe with the movie at all and i just felt it was a bit flat with it so stay tuned for all of that but i think that the sound design here is incredible as well that is one of the highlights for sure very funny seeing this with civil war back to back because i thought both films had the best sound design of south by southwest end of the year so far so I'm excited to see uh, what other people think about the film. Let me know what you think. But like I said, we're on the road to 30,000 subscribers. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe and hit that notification bell on the road to that. And I think we can get there pretty soon. I have a full review of Cuckoo as well on my uh, website as well. So you can go check that out, www.culturelixer.com. You can check it out, all our reviews as well, Caroline's reviews as well from South by Southwest and a ton of other things to come. So stay tuned for all of the uh, coverage and recaps that we're still going to be putting up throughout the week. And and I'll see all of you next time. Stay safe. Stay positive.